Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at a brand new LEGO Super Mario set. That's set number 71367, Mario's House and Yoshi. The set has 205 pieces and retailed for $29.99 USD or $30. This set contains two characters, no minifigures, and is an expansion set that does not come with LEGO Mario. Without further ado, let's take a look at the set itself. The main build of the set is going to be this small little house right here from the Paper Mario game, if I understand correctly. There's another side build here with Mario's hammock. There's a Talk to Yoshi tile up front and a little fence with a Goomba over here. Without further ado, let's jump on in and take a look at the individual characters. Our first character we're going to take a look at is going to be the Yoshi figure. This is probably one of my favorite Mario characters in LEGO form to date. I love the Yoshis. They were some of my favorite characters to play in the game. And this is just such an iconic character and so well captured in LEGO. Like, everything here is perfect. I love the rounded nose up front with the printed nose piece right here. The block on top is printed for the eyes. It looks very familiar to the other eye pieces we've been getting printed for the um, Eve Cheeps and everything. The white discs at the side form the cheeks here. He's got the nice uh, spine details in the back. He's got the little bubble right here. And they use one of these uh, pyramid pieces for the tail. He's got the Goomba leg piece in orange here. Uh, looks very nice and very accurate to the character. There's no complaints here. He's got the Technic Pen Arms in green, which I think is a first. Uh, in fact, the whole character is in a really nice lime green color that we don't get too much of. But I have zero complaints. I really want in the future to get other color Yoshis. Maybe the blue one, maybe the yellow one. I'd love, like, you know, a Yoshi set that comes with uh, maybe a couple hills, a bunch of, like, two, three Yoshis, and a Yoshi egg, because I think I would buy so many of that. Um, nothing but positive things for this character, though. I'm so glad he's included here, and Yoshi is definitely my favorite character in the Mario line. One thing I wanted to mention real quick with the Yoshi was how he interacts with Mario. There's no tile on him. However, there's a green tile right here. Mario jumps on it, says hello, gets some coins. It's identical to the way Toad and Toadette work. So there's no interactive tile on Yoshi, but it does work just like that. Our next character should come as no surprise to anyone who's watched any other Mario reviews. This is the Goomba. This character comes in, I think, four different uh, sets. Now, contrary to what people originally thought when I said in earlier videos, whoops, sorry, uh, this is not a face print that appears anywhere else. Every single Goomba actually has an exclusive face print, which I think is amazing. The Goombas, um, there's an interactive tile up top. I'll show you how that interacts with Lego Mario. He just jumps once on top and gets a coin. This is a factory applied sticker and pulling aside the bits uh let's pull apart the goomba real quick he's got the new exclusive leg piece this is used for most of the characters in the mario line but i think it's exclusive to the goomba in that color you can see it uses the brick head inside head pieces to form the main design for the character uh, it's a smooth tile right there nice face print overall a great character very iconic and i'm glad to get another kind of face print for this character now that we've taken a look at the characters, I want to show you some of the features of the set. The main feature is going to be this hammock right here. When you put Mario in, and you can, I'm going to get you an above ground shot real quick because it does tend to change. So when you put him in, and you can rock him back and forth ever so slightly. He'll slowly start to go to sleep. There we go. And he'll start snoring. It's a pretty neat feature. It doesn't give him any coins or anything. It's not really that useful for play. I'm going to wake him up real quick because I don't like the way he's snoring. Oh, I lied. It does give you coins. When you finish, you get coins. That is something I did not know. Um, other features uh, include the house right here. You can knock it open and jump on the star block. The star block is really cool because you can instant kill any enemy. Let's grab Bowser Jr. Instant killed him. How about the Womp? Oh, we ran out. So we're going to grab the star block one more time. And I'll jump on it. Oh, it won't let me use it again. That's pretty interesting, not going to lie. So let me restart Mario real quick. Now I can jump on the star block. And instant kill the Womp. Doesn't do anything for one hit enemies. It just kind of goes on as normal. The star block fits into blocks right there. And that's pretty simple. Closes up. The only problem I have with this build is if you're not quick enough, he can sense the red from the roof. So you do have to be careful about how you open the roof to jump on the tile. 
Taking this aside, let's look at the way the set is built, not just the features. This tree right here is uh, formed really nicely using these round pieces right here. The hammock is pretty nice. It's one fabric piece. It's a little sturdier than the new cape pieces, but only a tiny bit. And it's a little hard to turn the knob here, but it works pretty well. Not sure how Mario notices. Maybe if you rock him like this, you can replicate the feature on your own. There's no way to sense. It's really just a motion sensor, but it's a pretty cool feature nonetheless. Taking a look at the house itself, the outside scenery has a little mailbox here, one of the continuous signs and a fence. There's a little lock on the door, which can be opened and closed. There's a nice uh, printed tile right here, no stickers in the set. That's a printed tile. And then in the back, it's completely open. There is enough room, however, for you to stick the Mario figure. I don't know how he got a coin. I, I don't know how he got a coin there either. Um, I don't... Weird. Okay. I have no idea where those coins came from, not going to lie. Uh, the star block, just to show you, it's got a star printed here and here. You can also get the star block from the mystery, and that's a pre-applied sticker right there. I love the way they have the chimney coming up the side here with the clouds. Very, very nice. Uh, there's nothing really else I have to say about the set. So without further ado, let me grab the starter bits, and I will play through a level for you. So here's this and that, and let's see how many coins I can get. Put him to sleep. Wonder if this works. I've never actually tried this before, other than what I just showed you. You going too fast? Hmm. All right, I can't seem to get this to work. I'm gonna do some attempts on my own real quick, and I'll get back to you guys as soon as I get something that works. Let's try this one more time. If I can't get it to work, I'll be a little disappointed. I'm just going to skip this and see how many coins I get from talking to Yoshi. Get a couple coins there. The box over here. I'm not going to get the star block because there's no enemies here that it's worth, uh, worth getting for. So I just jump on the Goomba a couple times. And I'll finish. Let's see how many coins I got from that. Just 10, not too many. And let's put them away. So overall, I have mixed feelings about this set. I love the Yoshi right here. This inclusion is perfect. This is one of my favorite Mario characters. I'm so glad I can have him in Lego. The Goomba is awesome. The exclusive face print is a plus. I love Mario's house. It's a great display piece. And of course the star block here is perfect. I'm really disappointed in the playability of this set. If you get just this set, you can't really do anything with it. I mean, if you mix it with the starter course, the star block can be used to defeat Bowser Jr. pretty easily, and you can use the other blocks you get from the starter course to expand this, but it doesn't really add anything. I mean, you can build off the centerpiece here, you can build off this, but it doesn't really work. I mean, the biggest disappointment is obviously this hammock feature. I got it to work when Mario wasn't on the clock, but as soon as he was, I tried a bunch of times off camera, never got it to work. So maybe it's user error. I I like to think that Lego fixed all the bugs for it, but I'm really disappointed that it couldn't, you know, work and I couldn't get any coins from it. Like 10 coins per level, and that's the lowest I've gotten, and I even tried playing just the poly bag. Um, so, I mean... Great display, great characters. I'd rate this a C plus. I mean, take if, if this worked, I'd easily bump it up to a B plus. If this wasn't included and was a $15 set, I'd say like a B, but this really just drags. And I mean, it's decent-ish for display. I don't recognize it from anywhere. I mean, I don't know. It's just kind of dragging for me. Overall though, very good set. I'd recommend this to anyone who's buying multiple Lego sets. Uh, when you integrate this with like the star block, it can be used to... Uh, hurt the Peepa. For instance, the Peepa is the only character that you can't kill without a star block. So once you get it, you can actually hurt this character. So that's really good. And it's good to knock up the Womp and knock down Bowser Jr. Because they are multi-heart enemies and it's much easier to get rid of them with the star power up. Same with King Boo if you have them. So definitely good peace inclusion, but I'm still disappointed by the build. That's all I have for you guys today, though. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Have a fantastic day.